We're here today at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. We're gonna fly the TBM 940 right on over to Nassau, Bahamas. Let's get this started. All right, welcome aboard the TBM 940. We're here at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport, and I'm excited to bring you guys over to NASA. Start this up, clear out the front. Boost pump coming on. And we're gonna turn on the starter for two seconds. Spring load switch, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, release. Now we're watching the NG to rise up and stabilize. There it is, introduce fuel to low idle. Now we're watching for our light off, watching the ITT for a hot start, NG for a hung start. It's a nice cool day today outside, so we should get a nice cool start. Looks like it's going to temp out at 698 degrees Celsius on the ITT. Now it's going to wind back down as the engine gets rotation. Secondary fuel nozzles kicked in. Good start. Step. We'll go over and get the uh, ATIS here at Fort Lauderdale Executive. Fort Lauderdale Executive Tower, information Victor. 14530 observation, wind 320 at 6, visibility 10, sky conditions clear, temperature 17, dew 0.11, altimeter 3012. Our nav GPS runway 27 approach and use, flying and departing runway 27 and runway 31. Land and hold short operations are in effect. Aircraft landing runway 27 to hold short of runway 31, 3,000 feet available. Aircraft landing runway 31, to hold short of runway 27, 3,250 feet available. Bird advisories in effect, all departing fixed wing aircraft, contact clearance delivery 127.95 prior to taxi. All aircraft read back runway assignment hold short instructions on initial contact advise you of ATIS information, Victor. All right, we have information, Victor. Go over to clearance. Executive clearance, good morning. November 949, Bravo Zulu, over to Executive Jet Center with Victor looking to pick up right far. Number 9049 or Bravo Zulu, executive clearance. Clear to Nassau Airport via radar vectors. Gabo 2, our nap departure. Ray J transitioned in his files. Maintain 2000, expect 15000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.7, squawk 4523. Clear to Nassau, radar vectors, Gabo 2, uh, RNAV departure, Ray J, and as well, maintain 2,000, 1, 5,000, 10 minutes after 19.7 departure frequency, squawking 4523, number 949, Bravo Zulu. Number 949, Bravo Zulu, read back correct, contact now for taxi. Uh, thank you. All right, put our uh, squawk there in the uh, transponder, and 19.7 will be our departure frequency, cleared as I filed. Go over to ground now. Pick up our clearance to taxi. Executive ground, good morning, number 949, Bravo Zulu, at Executive Jet Center with uh, Victor Ray Taxi. Number 9, Bravo Zulu, standby control change in progress. All right, they got a controller change in progress. Number 949, Bravo Zulu, Executive Ground, runway 27, taxi via Charlie, hold short to taxi with Echo. Charlie, hold short to Echo, it's runway 27, 949, Bravo Zulu. Give the uh, marshal a quick flash of taxi lights. Let them know we're ready to go. Here we go. Tell us the taxi straight ahead. And to the left. They do a great job here at Executive Jet Center. There to the left. And here we are on 
Charlie, and we're going to hold short of Echo for the prop twice here. Got our approach plate pulled up here on the iPad Mini 6. Got the pivot mounting system and the pivot case system. That's what I use in this airplane. Well, all the airplanes I fly. Easily take the iPad on and off. And if you want to set up like this in your airplane, click the description below. We've got a discount link for 15% off. It's a great system. I use it in all the different airplanes I fly. I've also partnered with Pilot Institute. They have a lot of amazing online courses. Start right from home. A lot of the free courses you can use, and also a lot of Number nine, Bravo awesome. Zulu, continue taxi. Continue taxi, nine, Bravo Zulu. All right, continue up to uh, two seven. Number three, two, Mike, executive Yeah, check out uh, pilotinstitute.com. A lot of free okay. courses online, and also paid courses. You can start your training right from home. All right linked in the description below. One, Go over to tower frequency. We're getting pretty lucky because earlier today, I was pre-flighting, it was super busy here. They were holding short about a half hour. I'm really excited to uh, fly this airplane with you guys today. We do have the auto throttle system on board this airplane, so once we line up, we'll arm the auto throttle. You wouldn't want to do that while you're taxiing around because if you were to accidentally advance the power too far, your auto throttle would kick in and so take off power. So you always wait till you're lined up on the runway before you arm that auto throttle. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, runway 27, line up and wait. Traffic citation, 7 mile final. Line up and wait, runway 27, 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, we are clear to line up and wait on the runway. Got a airplane on the 7 mile final, a third airplane just rolling out. Exiting the runway down there. Here's our center line, we'll line up on this. Now we can arm the auto Three, four, Juliet. Please change bro. There we go. We are ready to go. Let's wait for his call. Number nine, Bravo Zulu. Turn right, heading 315, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 27. We'll turn right to 315. Number 949, Bravo Zulu. All right. 315 is already set up with their heading bug. Um. We are five, lined perfectly up on 27. For our rotation speed, there it is. And positive rate and indicating. Gear selected up. Oil pressure temperatures all look good. We're starting our right turn to 315. And gear is up. And we'll go flap selected up. Look out the wings, you'll see the Number flaps come up. Contact my pressure. Over departure, 9 Bravo Zulu, good day. And got damper run. Go over to departure frequency. Miami, good morning, November 949 Bravo Zulu, 1000, climb to 2000. 949 Bravo Zulu, Miami departure, radar contact, climb to 3000. Climb to 3000, 9 Bravo Zulu. Alright, 3000 set up, autopilot's on, and we're climbing in flight level change mode. It's going to pitch for 124 knots. And this thing's going to climb like a little rocket ship. Number 9 Bravo Zulu, contact departure on 126.05. 2605, 9 Bravo Zulu, good day. We can go faster. And we're going to level out here at 3,000 feet. Miami, good morning. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, level out at 3,000. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, climb and maintain 900,000, turn right heading 090. 900,000, and turn right to 090, 9 Bravo Zulu. Correction, 9 Bravo Zulu, uh, climb to 9,000, and I'm in heading, heading of uh, 030. Climate chain 9,030 on the heading, 9 Bravo Zulu. Bear wing safety 9, proceed direct. All right, so there we go. 9,000, flyable change mode in 030 on the heading. Beautiful day out there. We just cleared the haze layer. Look at that auto throttle going right up to 100%. On its own, pitching for 124. Zoom out a little bit here. So we're getting radar vectors. First fix is Manudo. Uh, you look off the left wing there, you'll see we've just passed the haze layer. Uh, we should have nice smooth air all the way to Nassau. 
November 9 Bravo Zulu heading 090. 090, 9 Bravo Zulu. Alright, zero 090 zero set up with the heading boat. Departure, and we're in heading boat, so the airplane will turn over that direction. With my little task right here, I like to keep that at six mile range right there. That looks good. Put this one over to six miles too. That gives me enough information of the air traffic around me within six miles of me. To me, that's a nice distance. 1,000 to go. 8,000 climbing to 900,000 on a 090 heading. About to go out over the Atlantic Ocean here. Got Boca Raton Airport off our left there, you can see down there. Level on 900,000 feet. And we got a nice tailwind on this flight today. Today's flight is only projected to be 35 minutes <laughs> from Fort Lauderdale Executive all the way up to NASA. How about that? Number 9 Bravo Zulu, proceed direct to Lincoln and rejoin. I mean, number 949 Bravo Zulu, Lincoln is not on our uh, flight plan. Uh, 9 Bravo Zulu, proceed direct Menudo. Direct Menudo, thanks. That's more like it. It's uh, direct to Menudo. And we'll go into nav mode. If you look down here at the flight plane, we'll go direct to Menudo. And this is our flight right on down into NASA. Winds are coming out of the west down there today. And we'll sync up our heading bug now that we're in nav mode. So if I push and hold the heading button here, it goes to sync mode where now the heading bug will stay synced up with whatever course we're on within nav. I like that nice little feature. So we can actually turn off our inertial separator right down here by my left knee, right here. Inertial separator, push that, now it goes to off. So what's happening right now is there's two flaps that are up in the intake that are rotating to let more air into the engine. We're going to get a ITT is going to lower, which is just going down past uh, 713, 712, 711, 710. You're going to get a torque rise. But thanks to our auto throttle, we don't have to worry about over torquing the engine because the uh, engine and the computer system will pull the torque back, power back, so we don't over torque. Wow, look down there off the left wing, you'll see a lot of white caps. Uh, it's definitely a rough day down there on the ocean. Not a good day for boating. For 949 Bravo Zulu, climb to 10,000 and center 1334. 334, 100,000, 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, 100,000 set up, play level change in 334. Hi, good morning, 949 Bravo Zulu, 900,000, climb 100,000. 949 Bravo Zulu, Miami Center, climb to 3,000, free put off the meter, 3008. 3008, climb and tame, 139, 949, Bravo Zulu. A nice climb rate of... Let's see here. 3,600 feet a minute. About to 10,000 feet. 4,000 feet a minute. That's what we topped out at there. For a climb rate. And pressurization check, it's all automatic, but even though everything's automatic, you still look and make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to do. And it's doing a good job. 1,000 to go, 1, 2,000 climbing, 1, 3,000. Number 9 Bravo Zulu, contact Miami Center, 135.6. 135.6, 9 Bravo Zulu, good day. Hi, good morning, number 949 Bravo Zulu, level 1, 3,000. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, Miami Center, uh, Roger. Uh, for now, maintain 1, 3,000, the altimeter is 3011. 3011, we'll maintain 1, 3,000, 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, one thing we can do now to stay ahead of the flight, come down to our airport there, we're landing NASA, waypoint info, we go to frequencies, we're going to want the ATIS, active and COM2, and then we can put the ground and standby COM2. Now over here, we're all set up already, for when we want to get the ATIS and go over to ground, we want to see land. And usually I'll set up the approach frequencies and the tower frequency, COM1. But if you look off the left wing here, you're going to see we got a cruise ship just going, about to go underneath the left wing. And then out on the distance there, that is Grand Bahama Island and Freeport. So this is my new part-time job flying this TBM 940. I fly for a gentleman named Isaac. Hopefully one day soon I'll uh, be able to introduce you guys to him in one of the videos. We'll be flying this 940 all over for all kinds of uh, different adventures. You're going to see Bimini 
It's the first island out here in the Bahamas. You got a lot of fun adventures that you can do on that island. I've been there quite a few times. That's Bibney. Okay. Number 9 Bravo Zulu, come and maintain 15,000. Come and maintain 15,000, 9 Bravo Zulu. 15,000 set. Light level change. Uh, pushed and it will now pitch for 124 up to 15,000. Even over a single engine, you know, a lot of people get intimidated about flying out here in the Bahamas. We're basically with the, with the glide because it's land the entire flight. We do have a raft in the back. If you look down here, I don't know if you can see it, we have a little island right down here. You know, if we had an engine out here, I would actually go over to Bimini first. 1,000 to go. So if you look down here at the iPad, you're going to see that green ring. That is our glide distance ring to where we can glide to. So if I had an engine out right now, I'd go right down to Bimini. But like I said, there's a Great Isaac Island, which is right down there off our left wing. That's it right there. There's a lot of little different islands out here that you can go to if you had any issue instead of floating out in the middle of the ocean. Let's see if we monitor COM2, if we can get the, uh, the weather there in uh, NASA. Information Oscar. All right, so we're going to expect runway 28 as 3214 is closed for maintenance. That's why it's always good to get the uh, local information there. And they, every hour they give it an identifier. Right now it's Oscar. So when we check in, when we say we have Oscar, they know that we know the local most current information. And if we go to procedures, approach, we'll scroll down, throw in the visual for 2-8, vectors, and we'll load that. There we go. Now up on our screen, we're going to have a uh, just a line just to give us visual reference to line up with runway 28. And as I know, we're going to be starting our initial descent here shortly. I'll put the inertial separator back on now. So that same little button down by my left knee, we're going to push it. Nine Bravo Zulu, contact Miami Center, 125.7. 25.7, Nine Bravo Zulu, good in. Miami, good morning, November 949 Bravo Zulu, 15,000. November 949 nine Bravo Zulu, Miami Center, descend and maintain 1, 1,000, 11,000, now September 3007. 3007, descend and maintain 1, 1,000, 949 Bravo Zulu. Alright, we'll VS that. Uh, center on 3726, chance lower again. 1,500 feet a minute, and our inertial back separator is back on. We are about to hit Hader, Hader? I think that's how you say it. H E Y D R. Hader. We're over Hader, now we're turning direct to Ray J on our route. Get mount 844, descend and maintain, flight level 200. Oh, it's unfortunate that we have a cloud layer out there as we do, but over to the left there is the Barry Islands. It's a beautiful area of the Bahamas. I did go out with Riley and Elena one weekend. They have a YouTube channel, Sailing La Vagabond. And they went spear fishing. We all did. Or, and I basically was on dinghy dragging duty. But as soon as Riley speared that first lobster or, or fish, the reef sharks came out of nowhere. I mean, they were coming out of left and right. And O'Reilly and Elena and JP, my friend, we uh, they still stay in the water spearfishing with those sharks, but I got back up in the dinghy. I was like, heck with that. That was a fun weekend. 1,000 to go. 1, 2,000. This thing to 1, 1,000. November 9-4-9 Bravo Zulu, contact NASA approach, 121.0. Over to NASA, 9-4-9 Bravo Zulu, good day. This is where we'll let them know we have information Oscar. 
Oh, beautiful view down there. North end of Andros Island here. Look at that. See all the different sandbars, waterways down there. NASA, good morning, our 949 Bravo Zulu, 11,000 with Oscar. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, NASA approach, NASA altimeter 3007. Descend, maintain 5,000, expect the visual approach, runway 28. Roger, expect the visual for 28, descend, maintain 5,000, 949 Bravo Zulu. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, look at the water down there. Just off Andros Island. I mean, the water's so clear. You're basically looking at all the different sand formations and reefs all at the bottom of the ocean. Looking right through all the water. And where it gets deeper is where you can see it starts to go to a dark color. Just to the south of here, they actually have a military area that they uh, do a lot of submarine training. Really deep water, the tongue of the ocean. And the uh, submarines will do a lot of training over there. Coming through 10,000 feet. Pressurization is checked. And looking off the right wing, that over there is Andros Island. It's a very big island out here in the Bahamas. And straight over that direction, that would be where that submarine training area is. 1,000 to go. I'm actually going to go into manual mode with the auto throttle. We're going to slow it up a little bit here. So it might get a little bit bumpy going in and out of these clouds. It's always fun when you get your instrument rating to fly in and out of the clouds. It really gives you more of a true sense of flying around the Earth compared to when it's just a clear blue sky day. Might be a little bump or two going through these. Hope you guys got your seatbelts on, right? Look out the front window here. Some good views as we go in and out of some of these little clouds. Clip the left side of this one. I'll never forget the first time going into a cloud. It was amazing. You're sitting up here in the front of an airplane. The visual of going in and out of it like that, it's pretty cool. Never gets old. November 9 to 4, 9 to Bravo Zulu, turn left heading 100. 100, 9 to Bravo Zulu. 100 on the heading, and into heading mode we go. This is basically putting us on a right downwind for 2 8. Oh, we're getting some nice views of NASA coming in with this type of approach. Not too often I get 2 8 coming to this island. This is going to give us a lot of good views at the airport. At our 1 o'clock over here. And a 4 9 Bravo Zulu, descend, maintain 2000. So I maintain 2,000, 949 Bravo Zulu. 2,000 set, we'll VS that down, 1,500 feet a minute. Now that we're abeam the airport, we don't really need to be shooting out past it at a crazy amount of speed. So we'll pull the uh, auto throttle back to about 180 knots. There's no point going super fast away from the airport. Beautiful view out there, look at that. Bahamar. I see Atlantis out there. Looks like there's maybe two cruise ships in right now. That's where the cruise ships are out there. That's where we went and checked out the Savannah. It's a super yacht that we went on in one of my videos. We flew the Vision Jet out here. If you haven't seen that one, go be sure to check that video out. We go take a tour with the captain out there as it was right over there at the pier. And uh, my favorite thing about that Savannah was that engine room. Spotless. Look at the water. Beautiful out here. The cameras probably don't even do it justice. 1,000 to go. You look down here at the iPad. There's where we came in. There's where we're at right now. I say basically on a right down one for 2-8. Uh, there's three cruise ships in right now. I wonder if that could be Icon of the Seas. The big Royal Caribbean is all the way on the left. I don't know if it is or not. Icon of the Seas is Royal Caribbean's biggest cruise ship in the world. It's the biggest cruise ship in the world. And a beautiful view of Atlantis. November 9 to 4, 9 to Bravo Zulu, turn right heading 170. Wait, 170, 949, Bravo Zulu. 
approach. All right, look at this. There's downtown. There's Atlantis. Man, this is good. Some amazing views on this flight. Maintain 5,000. Expect practice for the visual approach. Runway. We're in a right turn right now. Snaps altimeter 3006. All right, 3006 down to 5000 and visual 284 on angle. Don't American think that is icon of the seats, but it's a big, big cruise right, ship three, all the way to the left. Two, six, three, one. I can't tell if it is or not, though. Well, look at that. My oh, goodness, beautiful. A farm runway 1432 close until 2000. Roger that. Airman 949 Bravo Zulu, airport uh, 3 o'clock and 5 miles, report in sight. We got the airport in sight, 949 Bravo Zulu. Bravo Zulu, descend 1,500, clear visual approach, runway 28, contact tower 19-5. 1,500, and tower, clear for visual 28, 949 Bravo Zulu. Yeah, so tower, good morning, November 949 Bravo Zulu, on the visual for 28. November 949 Bravo Zulu, Nassau Tower, runway 28, clear to Lyman 300 at 10 knots, suggest reduce traffic departing prior route. Flight reducing speed, clear to land, runway 28, 949 Bravo Zulu. Alright, I'm going to take the autopilot off. Still leaving the autopilot on. Southbound for succeeding traffic left, take off. Because we got vectored pretty tight there. And Once we get under we'll need to respond, no 178, right we'll put our gear and flaps down. There we go, gear selected down. There's runway 28 there out there in front of us. We went through the uh, final a little bit, like I said, it was pretty tight vectors. Vision calling to again. Down uh, three green. Well, first notch flap selected. Mama three six three. And indicating. So I basically with my left thumb, I did my elevator trip to get off the autopilot. I still have the yaw damper, and I still have the auto throttle on. You got an aircraft on the runway out there. But looking good. That airliner just took off a two eight. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see it there climbing out. Delta 250, departure 120. 120, Delta 250. Wind check 28011. We'll see. We'd like to get uh, that first intersection, taxiway, it would be to go right to the FBO. If we can get that, that'd be amazing. We'll see if we can, how short we can land this airplane. If we pass that, there's not a lot of options. So we're going to definitely try to, right past the uh, 32 runway, we're going to, there's an intersection of a uh, taxiway. We're going to try to land right there. We're under our full flaps configuration speed. Selected. Go back to 85 knots. Okay, caravan one track for two departure. On the auto Number 701, Sierra Coast, standby. 500. There we go, that's 500 feet to the ground. So actually, I see an airplane on that runway, or on that taxiway, so we're not going to be able to go with that Number plane. Number 701, Sierra Coast, on course, contact departure 120. So we'll probably try to go right off of the runway, is what we're going to be looking at doing here. Looking good. So we're going to take the auto throttle off now. My middle finger here with my right hand. I'm gonna click that. Auto throttle. And also yaw damper off. Now we get on all the controls here. We should be able to make that first tax way to the right. I'm gonna ease back to flight idle. Airspeed. There we go. Center line. Go back into reverse. Okay. November 949 Bravo Zulu, safe walking. What are you, 949 Bravo Zulu? Roger, turn right on Bravo, hold short 14. Turn on Bravo, hold short 14, 949 Bravo Zulu. And as we wanted to do, we November made 9, that first taxiway. So welcome to NASA, guys. Delta Lake, clear for takeoff. Delta Lake, clear for takeoff. Now we're taking a whiskey with the left hand turn. Pass the hold short lines here and clean up the plane. November 9049, Bravo Zulu, uh, come into 180 on Bravo, we'll short uh, runway 28. Uh, we'll try to get you across as soon as possible. I right, just want to confirm I cross the hold short lines here at 14. I'm going to do a 180 to hold short at 28. 949, Bravo Zulu. Just want to confirm I'm clear to cross the hold short lines here at 14. Confirm you're, you're cleared to commence your turn and hold short of runway 28. Roger, right, cleared to cross the hold short lines here at 14. Do a 180 to hold short at 28, 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, well, there we go. I didn't want to cross the whole short lines unless I was given clearance. So we just want to confirm that and we're good to go. Now, now we're holding short at 28. 
Columbus 363 now. There we go. I will sit here. Alright, so there we go. We got the airplane all cleaned up. So my original plan was going to be to land and then do a left turn over there on Kilo, which would have brought us right to the FBO. But then on short final there, I saw that airplane over there, that gray and black one, and you can see over there. He was holding short there, so we had to scrap plan A for plan B, which was to come over here. And once we get space to get into our ramp there, we'll probably get our clearance to text. November 904, 90 Bravo, we salute the traffic on, on the runway. We'll be uh, taxing ahead. Uh, you can cross runway 10, contact ground point 7 on Kilo. Roger, crossing 10, contact ground on Kilo, 949 Bravo. Okay, we got to watch out for Lake Turbulence here, if he's going to throttle up. Because <laughs> we're going right behind him. So I'm going to go a little bit faster than normal, just to get past him here. Here we go. No factor. Now we're on Kilo, and we'll go over to ground. Once we get past these whole char lines. Ground number 949 Bravo Zulu on Kilo, need to go into Odyssey. Number 949 Bravo Zulu, now so ground taxi Odyssey via Kilo. Kilo under the ramp, 949 Bravo Zulu. All right, welcome to NASA officially. We're gonna taxi up here into Odyssey. Do you like these videos? Be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And, uh, just subscribe to here, the channel. Are we good to follow the team up? Hey, fire, I'm continuing. Thank you, sir. Talk to you in a few. Feels good to get out here back into the Bahamas. Go back in the beta. That way you don't have to ride the brakes. Because if you're at flight idle, this thing likes to go. Basically, going into beta, which is up over the gate a little bit, you're uh, just changing the pitch of the blades of the prop so it doesn't have so much forward bite. And we'll be looking for our marshaller, which I Bravo, believe I have in sight out there. Good morning, Bombers. 203, get dirty information. Off to ready, push inside. And Bombers here is Odyssey. Push inside, blue spot one. Spot one, Bombers 203. Anyway, hope everybody's doing well, wherever you're watching from. And uh, we'll talk to you again someday soon. Take care, everybody.